Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Respected brothers and sisters in uh, Colorado, America, and uh, in the world. My name is Imam Shafi'i. I am the Imam and uh, Executive Director of the Islamic Outreach Center of Colorado. Uh, we all know that uh, the world has been uh, afflicted with the corona virus and this uh, virus is contagious it is uh, being transmitted from a person to another person through you know touching if somebody sneezes and it happens that you touch that place and then you know you touch your eyes or your mouth you know or your nose you may contract it and so we are here to release our uh, our our statement and uh, without wasting yani, your time because we want to be precise i want to introduce our member members of leadership the first one is our chairman chairman of the islamic outreach center brother ahmed hussein and uh, with us is also a member of executive uh, committee and this is brother abdullah hamdan and uh, with us is our uh, beloved uh, uh, coordinator and uh, public relation affairs director, Sister Catherine. Mm. So we, we want to uh, ask her to read our statement, our official statement. But please, we mm. lend us your, your ears and your heart to know and uh, understand our stand regarding the ongoing plague or disease that uh, has made the whole world to tremble, the whole world to, to fear, to the extent that places are closed, you know, to the extent that uh, gatherings are, uh, are banned. For Jazakumullah khair for listening to us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Please, Sister Catherine. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa so the, the announcement, we want to begin by saying that the IOCC is officially canceling Juma, Salah, and Khutbah until further notice. Um, this is both at our Aurora branch and our, our Parker Road branch. Um, this decision was reached after much ongoing reflection and extensive consultation with Islamic, medical, and governmental resources. We will remain open on a limited basis to provide other essential services, including small controlled service for the five daily prayers for those who do feel it is still obligatory upon them. We do want to reiterate that according to Islamic Sharia in the light of Quran and Sunnah, fear and sickness excuse one from performing Salah in the Masjid and avoiding the Masjid may become obligatory upon you if you or someone you live with or interact with regularly falls into one of the high-risk categories, such as being elderly, having high blood pressure, being pregnant, or otherwise immunocompromised, or if any of those people are potentially already ill or exposed. We do advise you to use your best judgment in this regard, inshallah. Uh, remember, there is reward in leaving something for the sake of Allah as well. The IOCC will continue to endeavor to connect the community with support and resources while maintaining our small center to the highest hygiene standard possible. Thus, we request that if you do feel the need to attend or visit the center, um, the following, please perform wudu at home whenever possible to avoid exposure to the public restroom facilities. Um, if you need to cough or sneeze, do so into a disposable tissue or the crook of your elbow and immediately sanitize or wash your hands. Avoid touching of your face, eyes, ears, mouth, nose. Um, refrain from physical greetings such as hugging, shaking hands, kissing on the cheek, etc. Pray your obligatory salah in the musalla if you feel you must and immediately disperse. We ask that you perform sunnah prayers in your home. Um, also, once you're done in the masjid or done outside, don't forget to immediately clean your hands or your face after touching any hard or frequently touched surfaces in public. Um, as well as upon returning to your house. And remember to regularly disinfect frequently touched objects such as your phone, your keys, keyboards on your computer, keys, door handles, and any other high touch or hard surface. 
um, we want to say Jazak Mulchayer to Amja, who stated, well, um, this is a time for brokenness before Allah and reliance on Him. It is a time of repentance and beseeching Him for assistance. It is a time for having trust in Him and good thoughts of Him. Remember Him much and increase your good deeds during the day and night. Be in service of His creatures, especially those of them who are weak and needy. May Allah bless and may the blessings of Allah and peace be upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All praise belongs to Allah. MashaAllah. So, well read. I don't need to, it is the work of Imams to go too deep into details. I'm not going to do that today. I just want to say that uh, Islam has a Sharia and uh, one of the five Maqasidu Sharia or Shari'iyya.